and welcome to back to my Venus retrograde astrological forecast. Uh, right now we're doing Libra risings. So if you're a Libra rising, this one's for you. There's a lot more going on than just our Venus retrograde. We also have a couple other retrograded planets as well as an Earth trine going on. And uh, I've been starting with that with the other one. The Earth trine in your chart is in your 12th, 4th, and 8th house. We've got Virgo with uh, Mars here in your 12th. We have Jupiter and Uranus here in Taurus in your 8th. And then in your 4th, we've got a Pluto retrograded in Capricorn. So this retrograded Pluto in your fourth house is affecting your home life. There are huge shifts in terms of um, how you're prioritizing things within the home. And then in the 12th house, you've got your uh, Mars in Virgo. There's this internal conflict in terms of what belief systems you used to hold and what actually is working for you in terms of how you live your life. As you can see, that is opposing a retrograded Saturn and a retrograded Neptune, taking on this eight of uh, cups energy, which is a walking away from things that no longer serve you or work for you. So what's causing this conflict within your uh, belief system or way of viewing the world has everything to do with the way that you have been living and how that affects your health and how you give to others and what is received uh, back or reciprocated back for those there is something in the way that you used to believe that was causing you to live a lifestyle or build habits that are no longer serving you and you now need to walk away from those. And it's causing some cognitive dissonance to kind of break, like a disillusionment in the mind or like a fog to kind of clear. Now that you can see things clearly, there's a little bit of a, a battle within you about um, what you believe and why. There is a lot of favorable energy here though in your uh, house of finances with the uh, planet of wealth, abundance, luck, and expansion, Jupiter, next to this uh, fool card, which is representing Uranus, um, which is all about freedom and liberation. So there's definitely some finances being kind of liberated and um, you now have access to more than you did before. And there's a little bit of um, intense emotion and contemplation on that because in your second house opposing all of this is the moon now this is only here for a few days it is going to be moving into Sagittarius you are going to be feeling very good about the the financial freedom that you're experiencing in the next couple of days but there is very much this contemplation on how to prioritize that our retrograded Venus is in this Leo stellium for everybody but for you it's in the 11th house which has to do with your social circles you are currently revisiting how you express yourself within your social circle. Coupled with the shifting of those nodes into Aries, um, we have this dominant energy. You're taking leadership and ownership of your own social. 